Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we have a very very much important discussion and uh, as you can see the discussion is uh, right here right before you it speaks of the infinitives yes dear friends so today we are going to discuss infinitives but before we start our discussion just have a look to this point we are two plus yes dear friends we know what are infinitives we know how to use them and uh, it's very very difficult for us to actually remember and to sum up where in which positions of a sentence we may use the infinitives so knowing the infinitives aren't everything when you want to learn infinitives but their position in a sentence is equally important so here we are going to discuss and remember just remember this particular discussion is not for the grown-ups only it's not suitable for those uh, who are preparing their competitive exams or BCS or IAS, but it's equally important to those children who go to school. Even the primary level children, secondary, higher secondary, college and also that of the competitive exams. So, if you are a student or you want to learn anything regarding the infinitives, Here's the proper discussion for you. So let's begin our discussion with the infinitives. So dear friends, here's the first rules uh, which we would uh, begin our discussion with. Infinitives often appear after other verbs after other verbs now the point is very important that we have to think of i have chalked it other verbs why we are saying other verbs it's very simple just have a look at the example the rain began to fall so here began this is a verb and after this come fall into fall this form and this is an infinitive and we know it but are you aware of the fact that an infinitive is formed of a verb that's why the term other verbs is used here actually after the verb an infinitive may occur like this sentence i didn't mean to upset you so mean this is the verb and here also we have shown you another example with negative sentences you may ask me so what happens when we produce the same sentence in negative so the negative sentence is like this i didn't mean to upset you and the next paul is learning so it's a verb but with present participle that means it's in progressive tense yes dear friends it's in present progressive and also after this verb we get an infinitive to swim so this is our first rules where we have learned that an infinitive can be placed after some verbs so now let's uh, find out what's the next rules waiting for us here and the next rule says some verbs have an object before the infinitive so in the previous rules what we have done we have used the infinitive right after the verb but here the infinitive and the verb gets parted parted with what parted with an object like this one Simon asked me to help. Look, this is the verb and this is the infinitive and in between we have placed the object. So, an infinitive may appear right after an object of a verb as well. The manager allowed the staff, so this is the object, to leave. This is what? This is the infinitive. And here lies the verb. In the next sentence, 
mom told us not to run in the sun so the same theory is followed here but it's important because of this not yes dear friends it's again a sentence with negative so we are to place not that would be your question and here's the answer mom told us not to run in the sun so before the infinitive we have placed not so this is how an object may appear in between the verb and the infinitive so that's only our second rules and now we would shift to our third rules and the third rules says infinitives often appear after adjectives yes dear friends this time it's not related to verb in the previous two rules we have found the infinitives are being used in connection with the verb but now it's in connection with an adjective so here's an example the boys were afraid to cross the busy road so to cross the infinitive comes after afraid and that's an adjective the next sentence the self is too high to reach so here again this is an adjective too high this is an adjective and here comes the infinitive to reach so an infinitive may appear after the adjectives in a sentence so this is what we have learned from the third rules and here's the fourth rules to learn for us and the fourth rule says you can also use infinitives after some nouns and pronouns so just consider this part after some nouns and pronouns we have already found adjectives verbs and now it's turn for nouns and pronouns actually we have faced the nouns and pronouns in our second rules where we have said it may appears after an object so when it's placed after an object obviously it is placed after some noun or some pronoun but these rules is different from that from which aspect from the aspect that there's another point to say what you are using something for so here would place it to mean what we are uses using this for like take a book look take a book this is a noun and then comes its uses to read and that's in infinitive so using something for this part will be used with the infinitives so the infinitive will mean this when it's used with a noun or some pronouns next example has everyone got something to drink the same way to follow something the noun the pronoun something but what what's the uses to drink so this is the fourth rules where the same nouns and pronouns are to be found but in some different colors and now we have shifted our discussion to the fifth rules for using the infinitives and what says the fifth rules it's better to say what suggests the fifth rules not says so it suggests infinitives sometimes follow words like how what which and where how what which and where so these are followed by some infinitives but the question is how and what it produces my brother is learning how to cook look there's the wh word then comes the infinitive so uh, we may also say uh, i don't know what to do i don't know which rules to follow i don't know where to go so after these four wh words how what which and where we may use an infinitives and that's our fifth rule so now we'll shift to our sixth rules and the sixth rules says bare infinitives yes dear friends so far we were discussing about two infinitives and now it's time for us to discuss bare infinitives so bare infinitives are also used after helping verbs yes dear friends which helping verbs not all the helping verbs but some of them like 
will, can, should, may and must. So these helping verbs, after these helping verbs, we may use an infinitive. How? I can swim. Yes, dear friends, I've told you this time the rules comes for bare infinitives and it's not two infinitives. So when we use them with these uh, modals or modal auxiliaries, obviously we'd use bare infinitives here. And here you have to remember that these are but bare infinitives. Actually, you have if, if you have learned modal auxiliaries properly, there you have learned this rules that after the modal auxiliaries we don't use a two infinitive rather a bare infinitive is used there let's uh, shift to the second rules then i would add some note to it may i come in so may and then come and you have to remember that this is an infinitive but this is only bare infinitive and it's not too infinitive. So that's the point. So whenever you say something, if you say, I shall go. So it actually means I shall to go. But this too is not produced in the sentence and this go becomes a bare infinitives most of the time you read the rules as modal plus verb in present form that's how you are being told verb in present form but remember that this is not the proper rules sometimes you are told that verb in base form or the root form obviously this is the root form there's no confusion but why the base form is used why the root form is used it it's in no sense in present tense it's it it doesn't have a tense itself because this is not a verb remember this is a bare infinitive that we use with modal auxiliaries and the fact is if you have learned these rules well, obviously you are going to find learning infinitives and using them very, very easy, actually super easy. And that's the goal of Siksha Mantra. So we are returning very soon with another such interesting discussion. Until then, bye-bye. Happy learning.